Good day everyone. Well, if you're frustrated that your Wi-Fi is disconnecting randomly in Windows 11, you don't have to worry about it. We are going to fix it by very simple steps. So we will check what causes the problem and we will identify and fix it. So to fix this Wi-Fi disconnecting randomly, so we need to go to the device manager first and look for the adapter. So we will do a right click in the start icon and then we will go to device manager so the main sometimes it is the power management which, which causes the issue so once the device manager is opened we need to look for network adapters right here we will click on that and then we will look for the wi-fi adapter so for me it is intel r wi-fi 6ax201 so I'll do a right click on that and I'll go to properties. And once you're here, we need to go to this drivers tab and look for the driver date driver version and just take the name and go to the Intel site auto or whatever the adapter you have. See if you have a latest version and latest with the driver date. If you have it, download it and install it in a manual manner also try to do it from here as well click on update and search automatically for drivers if it updates well and good else go to the manual method by just taking the name and visiting only the manufacturer site all right so this is the first step the next step is to check the power management settings so once you are here in the properties, there will be a um, power management tab as well. In this computer, I don't have it. But you, if you have that power management tab right here next to anywhere, then we need to click on that and we need to uncheck that. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. So what it happens when you keep it balanced or when you keep your um, battery sources less in the power management it shuts down the network adapter so you need to uncheck from the power management tab allow the computer to turn off this device to save power uncheck that and then we need to click on apply and okay once you're done then see if works for you or not i mean you can restart see if it's connecting good or not right and if it doesn't then i would recommend to reset your network now resetting your network you need to uh, log in again i mean connecting again to your wi-fi but it's worth if you're facing this problem again and again so do a right click and then go to settings and here we will go to network and internet and click on advanced network settings view all network and network reset right and here we have this network reset this will remove then reinstall all your network adapters set the other net networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall the other networking software afterwards so if you're using any vpn client software you might have to connect it again so once you click on reset now it will ask you to say yes and then you need to i mean it will restart the computer and then you need to come here in the wi-fi section at the bottom right corner and you need to log in and connect to your wi-fi again for most of us, this will pr us fix the problem because we have changed the power settings. We have unchecked that, uh, you know, shutdown thing. And next is we have also done the network reset. All right. And if you still have issues, then you can simply type troubleshoot in the search icon. Go to troubleshoot settings. Right. And then go to other troubleshooters and run the network and internet troubleshooter all right so this will also check and ident identify what's the problem in the computer all right
then final step is to connect to a better dns domain name so, uh, resolution domain name service i'm sorry so here how to do that uh, you just need to do right click in the start icon go to run and here we will type ncpa.cpl i'll maximize it so that you can type it so changing the dns is also good as far as the accessing and browsing speed is concerned so we will also get a better browsing speed and more smoother access right so look for your wi-fi connection and then do a right click and go to properties once you're here we will select the internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 and we will select properties and from here use the following dns server i will use the google dns 8.8.8 .8 .8, 8.8.4 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 dot four you can also use the alternate dns as the preferred and preferred dns as the alternate it is up to you all right click on okay and this will also you know change the experience the browsing the you will have a better browsing speed all right so do let me know in the comment section whether this wi-fi disconnecting randomly in windows 11 fixed or not I'll be glad if you do so. And if you still have issues, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to fix your problem. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Take care.